Hello, I'm Mike on Twitter, uh, and as, as most of you <laughs> know too well, uh, and this is heat transfer. So this is our first little lecture. Um, it's most Uh, speaking of babbling, here's a official definition <laughs> for, uh, for heat transfer. It says the transit of thermal energy due to temperature difference. Uh, and this little guy over here is my um, illustration of what, you know, you've seen the posters of what your dog hears. This is, uh, this is what <laughs> my imagination of what students hear. So what does that mean? What is uh, when we use a, a bunch of uh, bigger words um, to describe something? Heat transfer is about how thermal energy, that is the kinetic energy of molecules and atoms, moves from one place to another. That's, that's all it is. Um, and there are different ways that that happens, and it happens at different rates, and we're interested in all of that. But it's really just about how that kinetic energy uh, moves from one space uh, to another space um, uh, because of uh, collisions uh, or uh, or the creation of electromagnetic fields. So that's, that's, those are the two main uh, processes. So uh, in order to talk about that, if, if heat transfer is about the transit of thermal energy due to temperature difference, we need to define what temperature is. And temperature is an indirect measure of the kinetic energy of molecules. So this little equation, all this means is that your average kinetic energy of molecules in a material is going to be proportional to temperature. And that is temperature, absolute temperature, so in Kelvin. Um, so a zero Kelvin object, which doesn't really exist, uh, would have no kinetic energy uh, in its molecules. Um, now, what happens when you put uh, two materials next to each other, and this could be a representation of a gas. Well, it's really probably a gas because these molecules are moving around. Uh, but the same idea is happening in solids. Uh, if you have one higher temperature, that is higher kinetic energy molecule, and it bangs into a lower kinetic energy molecule, uh, then the, statistically, uh, on average, that is, what's going to happen is the energy is going to be transferred from that high energy molecule to the low energy molecule. Now, it won't always happen that way, uh, but if you have millions and billions of these collisions, on average, it's going to happen that way. Uh, so the tendency is for the uh, kinetic energy of the molecules in this space to get higher uh, in this space to get lower. Uh, and so that at given enough time, uh, two objects at different temperatures will reach thermal equilibrium. They'll continue to bang each and, and vibrate against each other, uh, depending on their phase, um, and uh, reach a, a temperature that is the same. And that's called thermal equilibrium. Uh, now, thermal equilibrium is a really important concept when we talk about what's called the zeroth law of thermodynamics. Um, it's called the zeroth law, which is a sort of odd name, uh, because it was uh, formulated after the first and second laws of thermodynamics. So at some point, uh, engineers and scientists said, wait, we, we need to establish what temperature is before we start talking about it uh, in the first and second laws. So the zeroth law says if I have, if object A and B are in thermal equilibrium with each other, and object B and C are in thermal equilibrium with each other, then A and C are also in thermal equilibrium with each other. For temperature, that matters because that essentially tells us that temperature means something um, that we can compare objects that are in different spaces. It has, it has an absolute meaning. Um, uh, that allows us to uh, to talk about the physical world, describing it using temperature in much the same way that we'd use mass. Uh, that is, some object has a certain amount of mass. Uh, same in the same sense, it has a certain temperature. OK. 
Okay? And here's the guy singing a little song about, <laughs> about, about getting hotter. <laughs>